We are back with the second part of determining what your Honkai main says about you. In the first video, if you haven't seen it already, I combed through all the current 4 stars in the game. In this part, I'm going to tell you what your 5 star mains say about you. Like I said before, my opinion is the objectively right one, so if you think otherwise, then you're just wrong. Need proof? Just sit back and soak it all in. As a reminder, this list will only include 5 star characters up until the second half of the 1.5 update, which means all 5 stars up until Huakla. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. On to the video. If your main is Himiko, you're praying for a better ending because you will never forget what happened to Auntie Himiko. We will never forget, Hoyo. You're just pining for nostalgia at this point. Go on, just play the game. You know you want to. And I'm not talking about Star Rail. Okay, okay, I'll hear you out on this one, but only because she's all grown up now. But I know that you also have Sila in the party too. I'm watching you. If your main is Japard, you love your soft boys. Don't you lie to me. You like his little blush. I bet you purposely stare at his idol animation just to feel something. It makes you kick your feet and giggle, doesn't it? Yeah, you're not slick. But it's okay, I understand. If you main Sila, <sighs> okay. Now you saw her banner and your jaw dropped. You weren't expecting for Honkai Star Rail to actually be Honkai related. So you didn't hesitate to pull for her, not even knowing much about the game itself. Then you saw Branyo was there and you peed a little. You had one goal and one goal only. And that's completely understandable. We don't condone child abuse. If you love her so much, get her some shoes, you abuser. Boy, do you wish you had a big, strong Electro Daddy that also happened to be a big, strong General that also happens to love cats and is literally a perfect being in every way, shape, or form. Oh, I bet you're just a silly little person that wants to catch them all. I mean, be the best like no one ever was. I mean, um, you're just a silly little person that didn't even mean to get him for real and was only in dire need of an ice DPS in the early game stages. Oh, you silly person, you. Uh, yeah. Call me when you start existing. Void Archives who? Just kidding. No, 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 no. You probably got a little trigger happy at the sight of a five-star healer who was also imaginary and then realized his healing was kind of broken, hello? But since that happened, you've now managed to become super healer dependent, and this has never happened to you before, so you're stuck with a blessing and a curse. Nice going. Was it worth it? You won't know what's in that coffin either. For the last time, her name is Silverwolf, not Hacksaw Bunny. Get over yourself. This says a lot about you, you know? You just can't learn to let things go. Oh, you sweet, sweet person. Do I have stuff to tell you? <clears throat> you were waiting for this one, weren't you? All of you out there with mommy issues saw her in the opening cutscene and you tried very hard not to get on all fours and bark. But no, it doesn't stop there. No, you saw her trailer, and you had to rethink everything. But that was only the beginning, because you weren't giving up until she came home. And come home she did. And now all of your needs have been satisfied, and your mommy issues are in full force like never before. A winner? is definitely you. Now, if your man is Blade, I just know you had to make a very, very hard decision. But you also knew it would be worth it. Just like how you probably couldn't have both parents in the same house. 
I bet you thought we'd get Honkai Impact treatment. <laughs> Too bad. I absolutely loathe you as a person. Now, you're one to see the value in things better than anyone else around you. So now, while everyone is regretting not pulling for Fushuan, you're sitting comfortably with one of the most broken quantum characters currently in the game. Good on you. If your main is Jing Liu, you're unapologetically based and I hope everyone knows that and never forgets it. You're a rare few, and I can't tell if it's because you wanted to see more Nummy, or because you actually like Topaz as a character. There might be one or two of you that have Polar's remorse though, because you definitely did not have enough for Jing Liu after Ethereum Wars. Finally, if your main is Hua Hua, you're probably a decent person, better than me at least. But you do have an appreciation for change, whether it's good or bad, because that's what Hua Hua is. The start of something new. And also extremely annoying. How did you put up with her? How? I just couldn't through the I she just oh my god. You know what? You were probably saying her name wrong the entire time too. Take that. Maybe I'll make another one of these in the near future, once all of our lovely Pinacone cast gets introduced into the game. But for now, I hope you enjoyed getting completely dragged through the ringer with your choice of mains, both 4 star and 5 star. Honestly though, play whoever you want, because all characters and their team comps are unique and great in their own ways. As much as I joked, I actually do love all the characters in the game and the growth of Honkai Star Rail and its community. This game is amazing and it will only keep getting better and better from here. With that said, feel free to like and subscribe if you want more Honkai content, and other things of course. Until next time.